So guys, we can see a hog here who appears to have fly striking maggots and we're going to catch her and treat her and show you guys how we do that. Come by, come by, come by. Where? Now, Luke, come by. Wait, come by, come by, come by. Right, get up. Now, I'm just going to take her across to the bike. And we can see here she definitely has fly striking maggots. We can actually see some maggots coming through the skin pretty nasty luckily for her it doesn't look like they've broke through the skin or hold the skin they're just very irritating the skin is obviously starting to go pink and very irritated under there as the maggots start to eat their way in and okay guys what we would normally do if we roll around to where she's affected is we would normally shear off all this wool but she's only been shorn uh, a few weeks ago so we're not going to do that instead we're going to get straight on with the treatment i've got some spot on flying lice we're just going to pour this on i don't get too bothered about how much you put on you need quite a bit to kill them especially when it's a big area right over the tail, right onto the bum get it right on and then you should use you should normally use gloves for this but I don't have any gloves right now so I'm just going to use my hand and rub that in and we can see the maggots are starting to squirm out, fall out and die you can see them coming off there lots of them Oh lass, this has been, must be terrible for you. There we go, make sure you get it all over the affected area. I'm just going to lift her here and make sure I've got the other side. Okay, that looks good. And I can't really show you close up here, but you can see those maggots are just falling out of there now. So guys this is a closer look of them maggots now coming out of the skin and you can see most of them are just tiny little baby maggots just hatch out probably this morning okay guys so that's us got the first treatment on which is going to get those maggots out of the skin and start to kill off any eggs or maggots that are left now Hopefully she's going to sit for a second. I'm going to get my second treatment, which is some click extra. And there's not a lot in this bottle, so I'm going to have to be careful with what I'm doing. There's just a dribble left in this bottle. I won't need to use up anyway. Starting to get as much of that out as possible. And again, guys. You should definitely wear gloves. I don't have any gloves right now and I'm not willing to leave her like this to go get some. So getting that click 
in click has is basically for protection this will give her a 19 week protection which is quite long and stop this from happening again get what's left in the lid out guys these chemicals aren't great on your skin by the way so please do wear gloves if you can like I say in some situations where you haven't got gloves you might have to just get stuck in because leaving I leaving this even for a few hours could make it much much worse for her and again you actually you could have sheared this it's the wool here is only maybe half a centimeter long any longer than that and I would have sheared this uh, just because they're so small at the moment I'm not going to get that rubbed in nice and, and we can see now that the spot on's done its job and most of these maggots have stopped moving and they're dead she's up and she's hiding behind the back of the bike I don't think she's noticed Kate is actually on the bike but guys that is basically how we treat fly strike and maggots you guys well not enjoyed the video but at least learned something so thanks very much for watching and i hope that better helps anyone out there uh, with the welfare of their sheep Don't forget to like and subscribe for more welfare content as well as more just general content merch is available at flashfomo.com and thanks very much for watching we'll see you in the next one cheers guys